today's video, we're going to be making a sponge painted turkey. Here we have all the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need some construction paper in brown, red, and orange. Two paper plates. Some paint. Now these can be any colors you like, but I've picked yellow, orange, and red. Some googly eyes. A sponge. A pair of scissors. And some glue. Now your very first step will be to cut a sponge into three pieces. We'll take our scissors cut the sponge. Now the next step will be to take one of your paper plates and put a little bit of each color of paint you're going to use on the plate. And now you're going to take your pieces of sponge and use those sponges to dab some paint on your other paper plate. You can put this construction paper aside for now. So you can take whatever side of the sponge you like, the wide side or the narrow side. I'm gonna take this smaller side. Put some paint on it. Then you can just Use the sponge to put the paint for each color wherever you like, all over the plate. And when you're all done painting your plate, we can set it aside to let it dry while we cut out the head and beak of our turkey. So for the head of the turkey, you can use your brown construction paper and a marker or a pen. And you're gonna draw a shape that kind of looks like the top of a bowling pin. like this. And then from here you can cut this out. You'll end up with a shape that's something like this. And we can set this aside. Now we're going to make the beak and the gobbler for our turkey. And that's when that's where you'll need red and orange construction paper. So for the beak of your turkey, you can draw any size shape triangle that you like. Something like this. I think I'm happy with that. And you can cut this out. And then the last thing you'll want to draw and cut out is the turkey's gobbler. So you'll need the red construction paper. And for this, I'll just draw kind of a squiggle. something like this. And then you can cut this out. So you'll end up with a shape kind of like this. And now, put them all together. You'll also want to grab some googly eyes. I'm going to be using hot glue, but you can use any other kind of 
glue stick or liquid glue. And you're going to glue these pieces to the brown piece. been put together. Once the plate is dry, you can glue this to the plate. Now, once all the paint on your paper plate has dried, you can add your turkey's face to it. So, I'm going to flip this over and put some glue on it. You can place the turkey at the bottom of the plate. And now you have a completed painted turkey plate. Well, I hope you all enjoyed making this craft as much as I did. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. We'll see you next time.